Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Let's continue building our project. So the next thing we are going to do is to connect our wires to these parts. And this is how we are going to do that. You need to create a small tear using the tip of your mill to mill wire so that you push it through the aluminum foil just like this. Make sure there's enough of the black part of your Dupont cable touching the foil. You get some tape and place it on it just like this. Make sure the tape touches the black part of your Dupont cable and then place the tape around it. So make sure there is a good contact between the black part of your cable and the tape so that it's held solidly in place. Let's go ahead and trim this a little bit. Good. Let's do the same thing for the other one. So we make a small tear and push the Dupont cable through like this. Get a piece of tape. Tape it around just like this. Again, make sure there is good contact between the tape and the black part of your wire so that it's firmly held in place and doesn't shake around too much. According to our design, we're going to place this right here just that it passes our cut and lift it up this way good you're going to do the same thing for the other part Excellent. So now this can be exactly like this. Making contact and allowing current to flow through. Let's put our double sided tapes right here. And another one over here. Now, let's make sure our two aluminium four wraps make contact just like this. Good. Now, let's test this mechanism and see how it looks like. So you have something like this. And this is what happens when the door is opened. The two are making contact and allowing current to flow through. So that when you close the door, this piece of non-conductor, which is a paper, comes in between the two conductors and breaks the circuit. This is how going to be the mechanism that the system is going to use to work. In the next tutorial, we are going to continue our project. 